in the Taka language because you are teaching English, English is Taka language. Yama is your mother tongue, yes. L1, this is called L2, L2 is the second language or foreign language. So you must have skills of proficiency in four skills of English language. And then any other qualities? Why do you think you should be skilled in four language skills? Because you have to use English most of the time in the classroom. If you need to use. Because if you use only mother tongue, you are not teaching Taka language. You are translating. It's not good. So the teacher can have the exposure, much, much exposure to the Taka language. The teacher should use four skills, especially speaking, yes, especially speaking. And then what skill do you think? Knowledge of what? You must have a thorough knowledge of English language. You must have a thorough knowledge of English how sentences are formed, how words are formed, yes. how reading is conducted in the classroom. Yes. You must have knowledge of, thorough knowledge of subject matter, subject matter, meaning subject matter, what you are teaching, what you are teaching. So whatever you are teaching, you must have thorough knowledge of that subject, whether you are teaching the math, history or geography, you must have thorough knowledge. If you have thorough knowledge of the subject, your teaching will be interesting. Yes, and you can create more variety in the classroom so that the student can not get bored. In the beginning, not the end of the end, you can create varieties. Language teaching uh, is quite dynamic. If you have to move or make them move all the time, make them do something all the time. If your students sit still and listen to you, they won't get anything. So you must have the knowledge of the subject, subject or context of the entire language. Any other qualities? The teacher must have, what, what do you think? Pronunciation is important. Pronunciation, 
Yes. Pronunciation is also important. You must have a good pronunciation. If you have a good pronunciation, to swim well imitate your pronunciation. You must have a good pronunciation. Although you, you cannot pronounce like native speakers, you must have native like pronunciation. You know what I mean? So before you go to classroom, just listen or maybe practice the pronunciation of what you are not familiar with. Then you need to pronounce it. Listen again and again. Repeat after the repeat after them and try to pronounce correctly so that you are still get that the good pronunciation. Good pronunciation of the lower left. No, 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 good pronunciation of the lower left. My and little of my. Tell you what you're in. My and your father's a guy. Even a little bit of a son 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 of a so pronunciation also important. We must have a native like pronunciation. Native like pronunciation. Your pronunciation should be like a native speaker. And yes, You must know the methodology of language teachers, yes, how to teach. Because your methodology must change according to the levels of your students. Yes. How can we understand whether your teacher is interested or not? Clearly, whether the students are interested in your lessons or not. How can we know? For the demand. And looking at their so you must know the methodology. Methodology is a 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 You must know methodology and classroom procedure. And also, you must be well prepared before you take a lesson. You must be well prepared. You must prepare well. And you must have a lesson plan. So, if you have time, so you should prepare a lesson plan for each period of each class you are taking. So, the lecture and the shop, the other coming, the other coming, so lesson plan is given. So, the job of the server is given to us. The chance of my lesson is given. So, get ready. So, lesson plan. So, see what we have. Then we will review. We will go and check. A lesson plan show. You must prepare well, and your preparation or your lesson plan show. What does your the lesson plan show? The lesson plan show you care of. You take care of your students. Good job, lah. You say your care, and you also take care of your home teaching. Go. Then the parents are going to go. You do that. You are prepared. This must be done. Sometimes you must. You must be funny, yes, so that they can be happy. They can be happy. The most important thing for the teacher of language teacher is to create an enjoyable learning place. You must create an enjoyable learning place and enjoyable. Yes, only when students enjoy your teaching or the class, they learn more. 
If they feel afraid of you in the future, they go down anyway. So it's free. And enjoy your learning classroom for one person. Yes, how about you? Yes, yes, the teacher should know the background of your students. So never be your students. So to know your students well, you must observe them in the classroom closely, individually. Only when you know them very well, you can sympathize them. Yes. Okay. And one thing is you must be able to take jumps. You must be able to take jumps. The lessons of the textbook according to the level of your students. Don't go there, there. So textbook level there. Adjust the data. Textbook according to the level to work well. Adjectability, you must have adjectability. Yes. You must be able to adjust adjectability. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Any else? Are you aware of self-defect? Yes, thank you. Uh, yes. This is also important, yes. Where are, whether they are weak or whether they are good at when they are mature. Eh? Some students may have a, a good speaking skills, but some may have written skills. Eh? So we must the teacher must have their weaknesses and they are uh, what whether they are good at yes. letters. Yeah, letters. So, so that you can give a balanced input in your book as a sum of tutorial in it. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, that's the balanced input. Balanced input. No matter the financial input, you have to have a deep financial input. Well balanced input. Not too difficult, not too easy. Not too easy. And yes, Chabai Kapong. Okay, yes. Enough, enough. Oh, that's a time. No, I don't know that. Yes. Time management is the last one. Management, yes. Management, yes. You must know how to manage time because you, 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 didn't, you don't have much time in the classroom. You must know how to manage the time you get and how to manage the class. Yes, you must also know how to control class, classroom management. Yes, classroom management. Another thing is a leader. You can understand foreign language, yes. To communicate with one another, how we yes, okay, anything else? To communicate with uh, others from different countries. Yes, people from different countries. Now, anything else? To know what is happening in the world. To know what is happening in the world. By, by knowing English, you can know easily what is happening around the world. That's good. Thank you. And then, so what is or what are the advantages of knowing English language? English language is a good thing. English language is So, if you know English language, it is easy for you to learn other subjects. The child is a good thing. Yes, it is good. If you know English, you have half learned from the other subjects. Any balance in that time, the chapa there, the well of knowledge in that, which is all without knowing the English, you cannot communicate, but you cannot learn anything. Yes. You cannot share your idea with people from different countries. This is the world. She got a gift that these are the advantages of learning language. Some people think knowing the language is prestigious. Things are like considered to a lot for prestigious purpose, don't let them. Two of the 
Do you easily remember the names of people? What about you? Do you easily remember the names of the people you met? No. Do you easily remember the figure, the shape of the people you met? Yes. yes. I am not good at memorizing people's name. Yes. I don't just easily remember their figure and shape. Yes. Because especially Max name, the Tomina name. So, <laughs> no. so I used to have a dream. Memory is here and then lay out of there, lay out of the Jubilee, it is first time, what comes first? Reading, yes, reading, and the second, vocabulary, and the third is, and the fourth, listening, and the last one is, writing. So how many portions? Five Yes, reading. And do you agree reading and vocabulary? Vocabulary should come first or reading come first? Which one do you prefer? Reading like a vocabulary thing, I come up vocabulary thing or reading now? Vocabulary now. Yes. Vocabulary now. Vocabulary now. Yes. Yes. Find easy to understand the passage. Uh, it depends on you. If you want to teach vocabulary, but we can teach vocabulary. Yes, you can adapt. Yes, you're going to your own situation. Yes, you can adapt. Vocabulary, but then what types, how many types of reading do we have? Silent reading. Silent reading is good. Silent reading is reading a lot. Reading a lot. And amazing is. And okay. so other texts are silent, silent reading. reading, and reading, reading aloud. So do you read silent or do you read aloud? Both, yes. When do you read aloud? When you are average. When it is Jack or side down. You read it up for question. Okay. Yes. What does skinny mean? What is skinny? Skinny. What kind of information do we look for with skinny? Skinny is reading. Reading quickly. Reading for general education. Skinny. Reading quickly. What is skinny? Reading, yes. reading for specific information. This is general information. This is specific information. Reading video. Reading in detail. It's called scanning. Scanning. You run through the text. It's scanning. And you run, you read in detail. And you scrutinize. Yes. This can scan. For example, yes. For example, and for example, yes, I will ask a question. So how many types of non-technical meaning does the word memory have? How many types of non-technical meaning the word memory has? Three, yes. Just run through. Just run through the three types. Yes, before we read our answer, we have three reading questions. Three reading. How many three reading questions? Four, Four questions. So if these three reading questions are not good for your strength, you can change or you can use your own questions yes. according to your student's level. Yes, it's that. But actually, Reading question can be used as pair work and you can make them up speech other. Plus you already focus focus responder and I kept them a lot of key people and I kept. So to please read out the first sentence, the first question. Do you Greeks means? Previous tenets, yes, previous tenets. That's the previous tenets. Yes. And wait, 
Do you still remember any poems you learned from the previous race? Do you remember any poems you learned in Madiboya? When you arrive at Kabila, what was the name of the poem? Asamu. Asamu. Goodbye. Do you remember any poems you learned from Madiboya? Yes, what's the title? Name is that Umayyad. Name is that Umayyad. Who's the poet? Zika. Yes, do you remember any poems in that one? Yes. Any poems in that? What's the title of the poet? Leisure. 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 Could you say leisure? Leisure. 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 Good, thank you. Could you please read out the second question? Are you good at? Are you remember? Are you good to remember the names of phrases of the people we have Yes, we did. Yeah. Yes. Are you good at? Yes. We still remember people far away from them in the past. Yes, good. Their names. Their face. Okay, the friends of your childhood. What about the friends in your childhood? Can you remember? Yes. You still remember? Yes. Very good. See how? What about you? You still remember? Are you good at remembering the names and the faces of the people you met? Yes. Yes, no, do that. Kira, I'm down. The lady, the catchy guy, is Dan. Yes, I still remember people when people I know when I was young. And the friends of my so school days. The friends at universities, I still remember them. And what about number three? Could you read it out? Do you know family holiday trip? Family holiday trip. What kind of trip? Holiday trip. With whom? Family members. Yes, try to ask a lot of questions to your students because if you do not ask the question, they won't do anything until their brains will not work. Make, make them walk because if you just tell them they will listen and things will come in this year and then come up this year yes family trip that we is we have to you change for example what did you do yesterday or what did you do last night that's for example if you are going to make them do something, use the language, give example of give input. But you can write down. So last night I had a dinner at seven o'clock. After dinner, I watched TV and then I used the internet for 30 minutes. And then I uh, I say prayers and I go to bed and I went to bed something like this. But yesterday is a level. What did you do last night? Can you be your place? What did you do last night? I had a dinner with my friends. And then after dinner, the lesson, English lesson. I prepared some lessons for my PG. So what did you do last night? 